Are you okay, everyone? So you survived um, first principles for a general point, which I think is probably harder, actually. Right, so I'm doing it for a specific point now for x is 1. So if I put 1 into here, it will give me 2r. So I've got a point 1, comma 2. I'm going to choose a point which is really, really close to it. So another point. So it has a, it's going to be 1 plus h. So that idea of there's your graph, there's one point, and there's another one which is really, really close to it. Right. So I need to replace the x's in here in the equation with 1 plus h. So I've got 1 plus h squared plus 1 plus h. And that's the y value. So when I put 1 in, I get 2 out. But when I put 1 plus h in, I get 1 plus h squared plus 1 plus h there. Right then. So I'm doing it now. So I'm going to do the gradient of my chord. So that's a change in y. So that's... 1 plus h squared plus 1 plus h minus 2, so that's a change in y, over the change in x, 1 plus h minus 1. So that's my equivalent of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Right, so let's do a little bit of um, expanding brackets. And tidy up. So I've got 1 plus 2h plus h squared plus 1 plus h minus 2 all over h. There. I've expanded the brackets so anything without a h should disappear. So I've got 1 plus 1 which cancels with a minus 2. And if you look at it to tidy up a little bit, I've got 2h and a h. So that's going to be 3h plus h squared all over h. There. So I've expanded my brackets. Anything without a h in it has disappeared. So I know I've expanded my brackets, okay? And then I'm just going to divide through by h now. So that's 3 plus h. And this bit here, that's my, my, my gradient of my chord. So I've done all that work there. I'm now oh, fine. <laughs> What's me undo? I've done all that work now, and I now need to put it into the equation. So dy by dx, and remember this equation is given to you, is the limit as h tends to zero. So that limiting process is dragging the point close to the original point. F of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that's the gradient of the chord. So that bit, oops, is this bit here. So dy by dx is the limit. And you have to set this out exactly the same with this limiting process. You have to show the formula. You have to do it in the limiting process. Uh, 3 plus h. So remember this limiting process is I drag one point really, really close to the point where with the best microscope in the world there's no difference, looks like there's no difference between it, but there is. So it's like h thinks it's zero, but it's not quite zero. So then that just disappears and I'm left with just the 3. So we had in terms of like normal maths, what we've done, if I differentiate it, f dash to x is 2x plus 1, and then x is 1, it'll be 2 lots of 1 plus 1, which is 3. So it's worked. It's mad maths. That's the proper maths behind it. Wait till we do it with um, sine and cos, that's a real heck maths. Right, so there's one for you to have a go at. Give it a go, it's worth it. Uh, and then in class, I reckon we've got loads of consolidation to have a go at as well. Right, so see you later. Bye bye.